The Bureau of Land Management has closed the Skinny Dipper Hot Springs area near Banks, Idaho for five years. The illegally built soaking pools at the springs have resulted in public health and safety concerns and environmental damage. People soaking in the pools are exposed to water polluted with garbage and sewage. Visitors come into contact with human waste, broken glass, and drug paraphernalia. Crimes have been reported at Skinny Dipper, including assault, illegal drug use, and underage drinking. We get repeated complaints from local law enforcement, area landowners, and public health officials related to unsafe and illegal activity at the site. People get hurt up there, and it's remote. It's hard to get medical or law enforcement help to this remote spot. It's not the right place for a developed recreation site. Pollution is a big concern. Skinny Dipper sits about 800 feet above the south fork of the Payette River. Sewage from the site can travel downhill and enter the river. The illegally built pools and the human waste and other pollutants in them have damaged the plants and animal homes in the area. Users have also caused wildfires. In 2012, someone at Skinny Dipper started the Springs Fire, which burned over 6,000 acres. The area below the springs is at a higher risk of erosion due to the unnatural pools of water and the ground disturbance associated with heavy, uncoordinated use. We know hot springs are popular in Idaho. It's unfortunate that we have to close this unauthorized site down. We are lucky that there are other legal and safe hot springs in the area to enjoy. The five-year closure at Skinny Dipper will give us time to rehab the site and return it to a more natural condition. In the meantime, we're willing to consider proposals from the public to keep the site open. Any proposals would have to address the current public health and environmental issues at the site.